What's going on everyone, Mario here with AutoDS. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can start spying on your competition through their Instagram ads. So up until this point, we've released TikTok ad spy and Facebook ad spy. So that way you can check out what's trending in those two different platforms in terms of all of the different ads and what products are being sold. And now it's Instagram's turn. So now at your fingertips, you have access to the biggest library of ads on all three of the major platforms. Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Now that is what you call innovation. Unlike a certain not yet released phone that is at number 16, that's pretty much the exact same thing at number 15. Looking at you, Apple. The iPhone 16, it's the same thing. <laughs> but if you want to succeed in any business, frankly, you need to learn how to evolve, overcome, and adapt. So right now we're talking about adapting. You need to adapt to all of the different marketplaces. You need to adapt to new and up and coming technology like AI. So that way you're not left behind. So that's why we're giving you access now to not only TikTok and Facebook ads, but also Instagram ads. That way you can start to study all of the different ads on each platform and see what style or what products work best on which platform. And with that, let's go ahead and get started taking a look at the Instagram ad spy. Now for this, of course, you are going to need to be signed up to AutoDS and have an account with us. Now, if you're not signed up just yet, then no worries. You can get started right now for just $1 for the next two weeks. Now, once you're signed up and you have your store connected, the first thing that you're going to see is this screen. This is the marketplace where we have all of our different products that you can go through. So that way you can start seeing which ones are in your niche and which ones you want to drop ship and import them to your store. But before we decide on which one of these products we want to drop ship, we need to start doing a little bit of research to see which ones fit our niche. Now for this, that's where the ad spy comes in. Now what we're going to do is right under the marketplace over here on the left hand side, we're going to go to the ad spy section. Now by default, you're going to be shown all of the different ads on all of the different platforms from Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. For this though, what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus in on Instagram. Now, once you land on here, you're gonna have access to all of these different filters where you can start sorting out what you want and what you don't wanna see. So for one, you do have a search by keyword option. So let's say you saw an ad previously on, I don't know, some sort of hair extensions. You can go ahead and search that through here to see if it comes up for you. Now, besides that, we can also filter by the number of likes, whether or not there's a linked product, the CTA button, which this one is actually pretty interesting. So one thing that I found is that on Instagram, if you go to shop now, you're actually going to have products. So products that you're going to shop for, typically they're going to take you to a landing page or a product page. But if you go to order now, that completely changes everything and it actually gets you food simply because the CTA for most of these businesses or most restaurants is to order now. So just a quick tip, if you actually put order now here, you're going to have all of these different ads that for the most part are going to have something to do with food. So just as a quick tip, when you're looking through the Instagram feed, I suggest going through shop now. But besides that, also you have the interaction rate. So what percentage of interactions are these ads getting? Is it getting more than 1%, 2%, 5%? Typically, I like to keep this for the most part more than 2%. And then besides that, you also have some more advanced filters over here, which can really start to help you narrow down your search. I typically stick to just the ones over here. But again, if you want to get very specific, you can start doing that through here. For one, you have the number of comments. Another one is going to be the last time that somebody commented on this. So when was the last time that somebody actually saw this ad? When was the last time that somebody commented? If it was more than seven days ago, then it's probably not relevant anymore. How many views does the ad have? And even then you can start to get even more specific with geographic location. So in this part, you can actually check to see where the ads are running. So you can start to target by geographic location in terms of what countries. So you can either see what ads are running in the US, Canada, Australia, Germany, France, Italy, and Spain. And added to that also, what languages are they running in? Maybe you know German and you want to drop ship in Germany. So in this case, you can go ahead and select the language as German and be more niched, target that specific audience. Same goes for the age range as well as gender. Then you also have the other filters. So in this case, you're going to select when was the ad created. You can choose either between yesterday up to 30 days or your own custom date range and what media type. So is it going to be a video, an image or a carousel? What is a carousel? A carousel is simply an Instagram post where you swipe through it. It can be either all photos, all videos or a mix of both. And then last but not least, you can also even target 
where are these ads leading you to? Are they leading you to Shopify? Are they leading you to TikTok.com? Maybe on a TikTok shop, on WooCommerce, on Wix, eBay, Amazon, whatever e-commerce platform it is. If that's what you're looking for, you can find that by filtering through here. So let's go ahead and apply our filters really fast. In this case, I'm gonna keep it kind of simple. For the link product, I'm just gonna keep it at no. Our CTA button, I'm gonna keep at shop now because I don't want restaurants. And the interaction rate, we'll keep at more than 2%. So as we're scrolling through, I already see one product that catches my attention, one that I've actually seen before, and it's this one right here. This, I believe, is a surgery free jaw and neck lift kit. Yeah, I've seen this one before. Now, this in itself is actually a very simple ad. It's not UGC or anything like that. It's not anybody showing you what it is. It's really just a very simple video with a little bit of a pop up effect. Now, here we can see that it has five likes, 168 views and an interaction rate of just under 3%. Now, if we find this interesting, maybe it's a different type of product, maybe something a bit more unique and we want to check out the seller, we can go ahead and check out the original post. So we can click down here and it'll take us to the Instagram account or the Instagram ad. So here we can see that this is the original ad. It doesn't have much interactions. Let's check out the actual page. And as we can see, it actually looks to be like they're just getting started. So they have about 3000 followers. So this might be a product that could be worth checking out. We can go ahead and check out some of the different ads that they have on here and just read through some of the different comments. But besides that, I went ahead and actually switched it up and I increased the amount of likes. So I put between 100 to 1000 likes and let's see what we find now. So I've actually seen this one before and this is Honey Love, that girl style. Let's check this one out really fast. It seems to be okay, 149 likes, about 27 days that the ad's been running. No comments yet though. Let's go ahead and check this out. Click on shop now. And here we can see that it actually has 128,000 views. So that's pretty good, 149 likes. It has a pretty low interaction rate, 0.12%. But with this amount of views, the interaction rate, it, it naturally, it starts to go down. But here we can see that in terms of views, it's been pretty consistent. It's had a good amount throughout the past few days. In terms of comments, it really hasn't had any. Let's check out the ad really fast. All right, so it's pretty much just talking about the type of tank top that it is. And it kind of just shows a little bit around it. So this is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and check out the actual website. So we can click on shop now and then it'll take us to their website. It's in this case, the Honey Love website. And here we can see that this in itself actually looks like the general layout for most dropshipping stores. It's a little bit more advanced though. As you can see here, it has all of these extra add-ons, which actually makes it look really good. It's a very well-structured website. And then besides that, just looking through some of the ones that I saw up top, one that actually stood out to me also was this one up here, which is from Uplift Desk. So here we can see that the likes were kind of steady, but then they had a nice little bump. So this could be a pretty effective of ad it could be something that we might look into either mimicking or maybe even drop shipping a similar product and just looking at the ad itself we can see that this is just an image nothing special no video or anything like that and we can see that it does have a few comments it has about eight comments so let's click on see the original post to see what people are saying about it really fast and then so far this desk looks huge would love this in my home office me too it actually looks really good that's a beautiful rug you should protect it <laughs> that's a little bit irrelevant what size is that 80 inch it's gorgeous so overall pretty positive comments so it might be worth checking out a product like this or a desk like this if you're in the home furnishings niche now if we want to find a product that's similar to this all we have to do is simply go ahead and right click it go to search with google lens remember this will work if you're using google chrome and go ahead and select your image and here in the right hand side we can see a few similar products so we can see right off the bat that there's this one over here which is the exact same option that we're seeing except this is from hawaii ergonomics so it's a totally different company in this case. But besides that, we can go ahead and keep scrolling through here, see where we can find any images that are similar to this one or any products that are similar to this one selling from some of the more known suppliers, like let's say AliExpress, DHgate, Costco, Costway, or any of these other ones. Now, that was pretty much everything that you need to know in terms of the Instagram ads. Now, let's just take a quick look at Facebook and TikTok. Now, when it comes to Facebook, you are gonna have some pretty similar filters. They're all gonna be really the same thing, but a lot of the ads that you see on here are going to have a bit more interactions simply because people on Facebook, they interact with the ads a little bit more and Facebook ads just overall, they, they really reign supreme. These are the ones that are used more than anything. Besides that, we also have TikTok, and here you're gonna find more of the trendy style products. You know, the things that tend to go viral pretty quickly, but aren't necessarily sustainable. That's how a lot of businesses start to gain success through TikTok. So of course, TikTok ads are definitely worth checking out because again, you're gonna find some pretty invaluable information from not just the TikTok ads, but also Instagram and Facebook. So that was our newest addition to the AdSpy family, the Instagram AdSpy. What did you think of this feature? Let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Have you used Instagram for 
for product research before? Or have you stuck primarily to Facebook and TikTok? Now that you know that we have this option, are you gonna start using Instagram for product research? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Again, I wanna hear your input on this. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. As always, it truly means the world to me. Please, if you made it this far and you found this video informational, if you found it educational, or if you took anything away from it, make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. My name is Mario with AutoDS, and I'll catch you all next time.